All right, people, time to turn this around. <laughs> we were doing so poorly, our, our opponent was toying with us in the last match. I'll also try to speed things up is the other issue here. Um, all right, so we lost the die roll, um, but this is fine. Turn one druid, turn two slumber, that's a keep. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Temple garden. Okay. Into Birds of Paradise. All right. Selesnia colors. We'll lead off with our Druid. Pass the turn. All right. What's our opponent going to ramp into? What what three drop are they going to drop right now on turn two? Okay, so we're in Bant colors. just bant good stuff there's a lot of good stuff with teferi and oko yep and they're going to bounce our druid slow us down um i think i think we just get the slumber online Honestly. An Orin Viper, which we cannot cast because we need double green mana. Um, so I think we bottom that. Uh, pass the turn. Okay. Oh, Teferi. So annoying. Well, look at that. They've got their own astrolabe. They're probably just playing a better version of what we're doing. <laughs> Less janky version. But can they get a 2020 Merit Lage? I don't think so. So just like Bant Snow Control? Good stuff? Feast and Famine, which one's that? Black and green? Yup. Discards a card, you untap all lands. Ooh. Okay, pretty good. Oh. We really needed that green source. Orin Viper. Yeah, that's not really going to do it. Um. <laughs> yeah, we'll bottom that, I suppose. And... Huh. Do we get the druid out there? No, let's draw a card. We have to sorcery speed this thing because of stupid Teferi. Uh, let's scry first. Dead of Winter. Doesn't seem super useful at the moment, especially without any black mana. Put that on the bottom, draw a card. What do we get? An island. That's all well and good, but I really need green sources. All right, this bird is carrying a sword. Oy, protection, can't block. Yep. And so they untap their lands and I have to discard something. I guess we'll ditch. 
I don't know, the druid at this point? Maybe the island? No, I'll keep the keep the land so we can play the abominable. Um, maybe the druid at this point. We'll just lose that. There's Oko. Make some food. Ugh, that's not what we want at all. Um, hmm. Play land. Let's scry. Ice Fang. Jeez. Uh, it is a snow permanent. We can... Let's leave it on top. We will Glacial Revelation. Force a negation. What the hell? That was rude. Uh, well, I guess we got to mm -hmm. try to keep Oko in check. Oh, he's so brutal. So, so brutal. Um, yeah. We'll do our best. <laughs> yeah, things are not, not looking good for us. They're running, I mean, kind of a similar deck. Just better. They have real cards like Oko and Teferi. Yep, they bounce the slumber. That's fine. They must have another Teferi. I doubt they'd waste, get rid of him just to bounce the slumber. Here comes another one. No, four mana. Five mana. Batter Skull. Okay. Hard cast Batter Skull. That works. Yep. Making them foods into elks. Oh boy. Yep, comes in. No blocks. Yep, they untap. We discard an extra slumber. Not the end of the world. There's the other Teferi. All right, I knew they had to have it. Upticks. All right. Yikes. Um, so I guess we'll go slumber. Druid. Uh, we don't need that. Put it on the bottom. Ice Fang. Let's scry first. Another Slumber. Put that on the bottom. Draw a card. Scrying Sheets. Nice. Play our land for the turn. Scry again. Snow Covered Forest. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, we probably need the green mana. We can keep that on top, I suppose. Uh, but go to combat. Let's attack Oko. Ooh, that's a big germ. That is a big germ. OK, 
Okay, move that over. Ugh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, can't block that. It has pro green, so I guess I'll block there. Takes me down to four. <sighs> Let's discard... Abominable Tree Folk. Okay, to fairy upticks. Oko does what? Field to ruin my scrying sheets. Womp womp. Uh, let's get a swamp in case we draw our one of Dead of Winter. There it is. Will that even do anything though? It'll probably do enough. I think. I don't know. Okay. Jar Dead of Winter. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I have seven snow permanents. It's not going to do quite enough as it stands now. That's a bummer. Um, minus X, minus X until end of turn. Oh, it's not good enough yet. If I play this abominable, I can tap it down for a... T oh, it has protection from green. Tap target creature and opponent controls. So I can't even target this guy currently. Oof, that's a bummer. Okay. Um, let's maybe go... Glacial Revelation, see what we get. Oh, baby. Is that a draw six right now? That's nice, that's definitely nice. Um, okay, this uh, can get us closer. Scry on thin ice. Yeah. Leave that on top. Then we'll go uh, Astrolabe. Let's draw that on thin ice first. Then we'll scry. Orin Viper. Um, it's green. Not ideal. Does have death touch though. Meh, I feel like he's not great. He does draw cards. Only if we hit players, not not planeswalkers. Nah, we'll put it to the bottom. Um, okay, now let's go Let's put I guess the germ Sakura Tribe Builder. Uh, don't really need you at the moment. Yeah, you can go bottom. Throw the Druid out there. Uh, 
island. I don't really need you either. Okay. Let's get in there and hit Oko, I suppose. Oh, and then it's got pro green and I just die. It's big enough, 5-5, five, five, right? Yes. Bummer, nothing I can do there. Yup, can't block it, pro green. Womp womp. All right, so, let's see, these abrupt decays definitely come in. Um, Veil of Summer might be worth it. Hmm. Yeah, a couple of Veil of Summers, I suppose. We can ditch, like, a Druid. We can ditch a Tribe Elder. We can ditch... A Viper, a Revelation. Still gonna get rid of one more thing. Um, how much removal do I really want? Maybe we get rid of the Dead of Winter? Do I really need that? Let's try it like that. Yes, we'll play first. Um, Abrupt Decay, Astrolabe, we got, yeah, this is great. We'll keep this. We got the black mana for the Abrupt Decay. Got a Druid, turn one. Astrolabe and Coatl, potentially, turn two. Codal? I don't know. Codal, I think. Uh, all right. Let's go. Pass the turn. So Abrupt Decay nicely answers both Oko and Teferi. Noble Hierarch. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's go, hmm, yeah, we'll go Astrolabe, Prismatic Vista, and we'll hold up the Ice Fang, pass the turn. Thinking about it, no attacks. All right, we'll end step. Spell Queller. Welp, fine. You got me. Huh. Maybe we just... Brought Decay the Spell Queller?
There we go. Draw a card. Okay. Did I already play my land for the turn? Yes, I did. Played the swamp. Um, okay. I guess we'll chip in for one. Another bird. No attacks. Apparently just slumber. Um, I think we get the scrying sheets out there. And... Let's go abominable. They do have mana up. Huh. Give it a shot. Okay. Let's tap down. I suppose the hierarchy. They got their own Ice Fang. Uh, okay. Okay, they make the Ice Fang trade. Oh, and they path him. That's so sad. Yes. Uh, let's get let's get all our colors. Let's get it all going here. All right, there's Oko. That's what I was afraid of. I really wish I had an abrupt decay. Okay, let's cast the slumber, I suppose. Um, yeah. Scry one, snow covered island. Mm, meh. We can do better than that. Uh, Do we draw right now off the scrying sheets? I guess so. Well, let's go to combat first. Attack Oko. What could I draw that I could cast for one mana? I guess a whatever you call it, on thin ice. <laughs> Nothing really I want to take away from them right now, though. I mean, it's something. This is worth doing right this moment. I guess. We'll just do it now. Arkham's Astrolabe. Sure. Why not? Uh, let's scry first. Ice Fang. Can't cast it right now. Not bad, though. I suppose it can stay on top. It replaces itself. Uh, okay. Pass the turn. Makes his food into an elk. Oko is so good. Drawing a card off Canopy. They have three in hand now. Two in hand. 
Going to combat. Coming in with the elk. An exalted elk. I have 10 snow permanents. Okay, Stoneforge fetches. Fetches what? They're thinking about it. They get the Feast and Famine, okay. Conveniently has protection from my Black Merit Lage, which is unfortunate. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Um, all right, let's get... Oh, 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 what am I doing here? I, sure, I guess we're in the begin combat phase. Uh, no attacks. I'm not going to attack into that. Did I play land? Yes, I did. One, two, three, four. Get this bad boy out here. And we'll tap down the Stoneforge Mystic. And then we've got an Ice Fang we can run out and or activate the Scrying Sheets. So we'll pass. Got two big beefy creatures on the board, that's for sure. What is this going to be? Sword of Feast and Famine, okay. Yep. Loses all ability. <laughs> this is amazing. Oko, turning Merit Lage into an elk. Merit Lage is now an elk. <laughs> uh no attacks though no attacks um let's activate the sheets ah womp womp That's no fun. Prismatic Vista. Um, I suppose we can activate the sheets again. Right? Might as well. Let's give it a go. Spin the wheel. What do we got? Ugh. Not what I want. Okay, they can only block one. It has protection. Um, this has trample. Attack you into Oko. Attack you into Oko. And... Attack you into Oko. Sure. Everybody at Oko. Screw that guy. They can't save him, so I imagine... Okay, they take out the elk. Okay. Uh, pass the turn. Thank God Oko's gone. Watch, they probably have another one. Card is so silly. 
The loyalty just gets so high so fast. How are those both plus abilities? How are they both plus? Insane. Ice Fang. Okay, they're digging. What do they get for two white mana? Another Stone Forge, perhaps? Oh, I see. They're activating the Stone Forge. Fire and Ice. Okay. Yeah, protection from green. Sure. Uh, ch -ch -ch yeah. Oh boy. All right, let's run our Ice Fang out there, I guess. Draw a card. On Thin Ice, okay. So, what do we want to get rid of here? This one flies. Death Touch, this, yeah. Let's go. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Get rid of that Ice Fang. Okay, play a land for the turn. Let's... Uh, scrying Sheets. Damn. Okay, uh, we got some big creatures now. Hmm. Let's send them both in. I suppose. Is that enough with the trample damage? I think it is. Yep, one. Oh, it takes him to one. 14, huh. Okay. I guess I should have attacked with everything. That was dumb of me. I was thinking, in my, I forgot he had trample, so I was thinking in my head I had to leave this back so it could block, oh, you're loading it up. He can't block a thing now. Could block the fire and ice equipped creature. Yeah, that was silly of me. Oh no, is this just enough? What is this, an 8-8? Eight, eight? So they do eight and then ping me for what, two from the sword? Two damage to any target. Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me. Wow, I punted that so hard. Yikes. Yep. That'll, uh, that'll do it. Wow, this is not going well. This is rough. Yeah, I punted that so hard. So my thought process was, uh, I was thinking, I forgot this guy trampled, so I wasn't calculating the damage properly. And instead, in my head, I was thinking, oh, I need to keep back this blocker if they have, because the if they keep them equipped separately, uh, Sword of Fire and Ice says protection from red and blue. The Druid is neither red nor blue, so he can chump block that at least. It, ugh, I was not thinking straight. Anyway, all right, well, there's another punt. Um, 
So sorry about that. Ugh. Well, yeah, you you know the deal. Never said I was any good. We're having fun though, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>